there's no doubt this is sewage, this is unhealthy, and it's going and into the ocean. And all these people, you know, and it crosses through here, and go, goes down to the Tijuana River, and then down to the... Um, there's no pipes going anywhere. There's so, no pipes, period. Where else would it go? I mean, what other option? Is there a treatment plant anywhere near Yeah, there? no. 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 So what you're looking at here, just a third of a mile south of San Diego, south of our border in Tijuana, the neighborhood known as Las Flores. And that's an area where sanitation system is not like what we know of here in the U.S., where, you know, a lot of sewage just goes right down in the channels, trash goes there, and it all ends up in the ocean. Uh, we're joined now with Faye, Frank Eversay with the Wild Coast. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, yeah, me and you, we got a chance to walk through the channel full of sewage. Um, I don't know if I want to say thank you for the opportunity, but... Yeah. It was eye-opening. I mean, it's something you see regularly, right? It's a very important topic mm -hmm. to stop all this tsunami of plastic tires and sewage co from coming into the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's coming from all over the world, and everybody locally has to do its little uh, work to stop it because we are the blue planet, and the ocean makes 85% of our oxygen, mm -hmm. and we are impairing its capacity to do so, and we really have to take matters now into our own hands. We, are, we have still time to organize this and to stop all mm -hmm. the trash, so we need to do it now. And we've been covering, you know, the pollution from Tijuana for decades now. Uh, you know, obviously the beaches get shut down in San Diego sometimes because of the pollution, things like that. And it's, you know, the sewage system is set up where a lot of that goes right into the ocean. I mean, the channels send it right that way. Well, um, so that's, you know, obviously a big issue that's really hard to solve. It takes a lot of different levels, right? Yeah, well, the problem is that Tijuana has exploded. It mm -hmm. grows and it grows and it's not organized growth because, uh, you know, there's too many people, immigrants come from all over. So it grows disorganized without any tubing, without any infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So many neighborhoods, 65,000, 70,000 people live without any sewage wow. or, or any potable water. Right. No services. The amount of services needed is too big for the resources mm -hmm. that exist. So we have tons of, of trash that's never picked. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem. What would you do if nobody would pick your trash, right? right. What do you do with the trash? Yeah. So people put it in, in, in bags and they put it in the corners or they take it a bit to work and put it in the corners mm -hmm. there. I mean, it's a big, big problem. They don't have the systems we have with trucks coming every Monday to exactly. pick up your trash, right? It's not set up that well, way. We don't have the so resources. The to resources, do that in right? Tijuana, you mm -hmm. know? But um, Faye, you're there. You have a really team with working. Wild Coast working really hard to clear that trash. I mean, obviously the sewage is a whole other issue, but the trash too that comes in those channels. Uh, you have a giant super sack right here. Uh, tell us what Wild Coast is doing. This what is, is what are you doing? One. When we fill it, it mm -hmm. expands. Uh -huh. So we put a trash boom to stop the trash from one of the tributaries of the Tijuana River mm -hmm. that comes directly into the U.S. into Smuggler's Gulch from, you know, so we put this, this device yeah. and it stops all the trash coming inside the water and floating mm -hmm. from coming down and then we take it out, sort it, bottles, you know, like the bottles that we drink water off, the bottles right. for of the Clorox and the and the and the dish soap and all that, you know, creams that other plastic, right. different plastics. We sh we sort of put in these huge sacks. Mm -hmm. I mean, when this is big, we can only have two of these sacks in one um, in one vehicle, in okay. one uh, truck. Right. So uh, we sell them, we reuse them, we repurpose them. We try the least to go to the landfill of mm -hmm. this plastic. But definitely this is not going to the ocean. Right. I want to put more of those trash rooms in the other tributaries and really stop it from coming. Tijuana is higher than San, mm -hmm. than San Diego. Than so Tijuana it goes downstream. Uh, watershed. So it comes all down to right. the Tijuana River and from there to the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't know any boundaries? Right. Mexico, U.S. Right. You know, the currents come from south to north. Imperial Beach is closed. Silver Strand gets closed. Mm -hmm. Even now when there is no rain. Right. Which is the problem. Before it used to be when it rains is a problem, but now mm -hmm. no rain, 
Last week, uh, Imperial Beach to Silverstrand was closed. Mm -hmm. It didn't rain. The sewage, the pollution, the trash still sewage, goes that way. Sewage, the pollution, the right. trash is flowing. Based more and more currents. people we have in San Diego, I so see. it's a big problem. Okay. And so uh, we are just, uh, we need more vehicles anyway, yeah. Yeah. because we have so much. We mm -hmm. could do so much if we had more vehicles. More vehicles, more booms. More it sounds trash, like, I mean, booms. we were there, for our viewers at home that don't know what these booms are, oh. uh, when we were there, there are these giant, uh, basically, they're, what are they made? Of. I don't know, like They're a grate, over, basically. Like, uh, plastic on top so it floats when the river right. comes. And then under there is like a big... Uh, like a great uh, like fence. Like a great uh, fence. Mm -hmm. So let's only the water come in and nothing else. Mm -hmm. So the water, the treasure comes floating, gets stopped by the thing that floats mm -hmm. and everything else by the grate. Right. And then the water comes down, the whole thing comes down. We go in when it dries and we start taking it out. Yeah. We have 93% of that, uh, that what we get is plastics and tires. Now okay. the tires a separate problem, huge problem. Right. Inside, you know, when it's hot like now, and water inside, it's a perfect place where mosquitoes reproduce. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes that bring yellow fever, dengue, they fly all over. The, this right. affects both countries. It's mm -hmm. one ecosystem, two countries. Makes it right. more complicated. Right, right. The same urgency to solve. And just to put it in perspective, for example, these super sacks, you said it gets a lot bigger. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's almost the size of our back yeah. lot. This Each is a one. new one. Yeah, this is a new one. But the it's ones we saw one. there at your Wild Coast facility, wow. six a day at least are what are getting filled at that one neighborhood, right? Yes. Okay, six so, lot, yeah. I mean, more. there's more and more. Well, you know what we have done is also developed mm -hmm. networks of uh, cities sense okay. that we give them sacks like that and in the, I they, don't know, fill you know, they fill it up slowly or ha in a hurry we pay them for it okay for per kilo per per right, right. 2.5 pounds at least giving them a reason to pick it up well, some money up they need before we wait Oops. before we wait mm -hmm. for all this plastic to come into the right. water into the river get involved with sewage right you know the sewage is running in this yeah. river now yeah. the river is permanently wet which was not the case before right. so um you know so then we have like clean plastic mm -hmm. and then we can repurpose it and recycle it much better okay and Faye, for uh, you know the wild coast to obviously your purpose is to help clean up as much as we can protect our environment yeah, with we what are, we can uh, it's yeah. complicated though with mexico and san diego i mean yeah. our the relationship obviously is a whole other issue but as far as how to physically go there and do this work picking up the, the recyclables the booms that are in place but you need more help doing all of that we right need more resources so we yeah. can do more faster okay and yes we always have to do with the authorities of both sides mm -hmm. you know the mexico authorities the california authorities mm -hmm. at the local level at the state level a little bit of federal right at least in mexico because in mexico the ocean the coast and ocean is federal okay and wild coast protects coast and ocean that's how we got involved. i see okay we are the coast people who can protect coastal and marine ecosystems mm -hmm. that the the plastic and the search is really harming mm -hmm. the ocean, I mean, the right. house and the ocean. Yeah. So that's why we jumped into this hardy problem. Right, it's a hardy problem. And you have people on the ground that are doing this hard work, you included. Yeah. I mean, we literally <laughs> walk through sludge together uh, to see this. And it's important work that you're doing. So thank you for uh, you know doing your part and working really hard to make it happen. Uh, for anyone at home who's watching right now, if they want to help, what can they do? Well, first go to wildcoast.org mm -hmm. and help us. You know, you can come. We have volunteer jobs. We do some cleanups, but not too much, because we want to get to the beach when we don't have to clean right when you want to get the source clean. of the problem the before source. it gets there but we yeah. still do clean up it's near the near the tijuana river you know mm -hmm. there's places that are really not little butts but real right uh, dirty. but yeah and also resources and just supporting us checking us mm -hmm. out and then you know we 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 don't much organize now yet for covid yeah. you know Teams going to Tijuana, right. but we could. If and there's a to. big donation tab right there too, oh, so of course they well can use that your support. You can always support. <laughs> Anybody yes. has a vehicle you, who wants to donate, mm -hmm. we'll be so happy of course. to. More trash, faster. <laughs> Happy to haul the trash. Okay, <laughs> Faye, thank you very much for doing your work, and uh, we have a 